there guys um thanks 564 and this is continuous for let's play of expeditions room and uh, yeah let's go first of all i think we'll go talk to all the people to just make sure we don't miss anything and after that we're gonna go and address the berber tribes i think that's a good idea what do we have here well, a lot of food like huge amounts of food and uh, some medicine which is nice who are you Greetings, Romans. Or how do you say it? Selwete. I am Galusa the Great. How may I help you? What makes you so great? Isn't it obvious? Hmm? Not only am I incredibly handsome, but I also sell the best wares in the land. Okay. Um. Well, he just said he is a vendor. What do you. I, you sound different. Where are you from? Here and there. In this profession, you get to travel all around the world. Procuring items is a form of art. I can find you anything you are looking okay, for. Okay, so what do you sell? Everything you can see in my stalls. The most peculiar spices and obviously the best sewi Nazemones has to offer. What do you need? Huh? That server with a peculiar birthmark? Where? Oh, I guess this one, huh? Ah. The moment I saw you, I knew what kind of connoisseur you are. Unfortunately, that sewer is not for sale. That birthmark? By Zeus and Pythagoras. My sister. Finally, I found you, sister. Restrain your sewers, Roman. I told you, that sewer is not for sale. What your words best hear about is a free man. I apologize. Still, my point stands. She is not for sale, for she was already purchased. The sky is gone from her eyes. What did they do to her? Magister, I don't know what I should do. What do I say? Hmm. What's wrong with her eyes? Who are you? What are you doing to me? I am your brother. I have been looking for you for a long time, sister. But everything will be fine now. We are together again. I do not know who you are. Please, don't touch me. I do not belong to you. You blinded her? This outrage is unnecessary. Am I telling you how you should run your legion? Then don't tell me how I should deal with my sewa. That's my job and my expertise. I do not know what kind of trick this is, but I have no brothers. Please let go. Your insistence will be bad for me. Hmm. She doesn't recognize your voice, Bestia. Say her name. Her name? I... I do not know her name. I do not remember it. It's been... It's been a long time. What do you want to do, Discipule? Your actions will determine the kind of man you are. Finding her was once the purpose of my life, Magister. I am not leaving without her. Do something, Legati, or I will. Um, okay, whatever they're paying you, I'll pay twice the amount. Hmm. <laughs> Tempting. What oh, you're saying 8, is you can really? pay me 8,000 denarii right now? Never in the history of the world has anyone paid even half that much for a Sirwa. Uh, he just yeah. doesn't want to sell her. 2,000 denarii sounds reasonable. I offered 2,000. You're lying. You have not been offered 4,000 denarii. However, unlike your prospective buyer, I'm here right now, and I will offer you precisely the sum of 2,000 denarii for her. I see. You drive a hard bargain. Hmm. Deal. Selling blind Sewi is always difficult. Take her. Thank you, my friend. You can't even guess how much that means to me. I shall hmm. find a way to repay you. Uh, forget about it. You know, it's like a pa patron-client relationship in Rome, right? So he is sort of my uh, client at this moment, so he owes me. But it's not. No, let's not make try to make a big deal out of it, right? Forget about it. He would do the same for me, like. But when I need you most, <laughs> and that day may never come, 
I would, for I am a good man. Come on, sister. I will show you your new home. Okay. Check on Bestia Sister again in the Legion. Okay. So Welcome what exactly back. do you sell? How may I help you this time? Oh, you just sell okay. Yeah, we kinda need money. This resource is scarce, uh Well, I guess we'll find out. We'll figure things out eventually. Like, that probably was the right decision. I don't think just going killing people here, uh, considering we need their we need their help, would be a good idea, right? <laughs> scrap trader. What do you sell, scrap trader? Everything I sell, I take iron. I sell iron. I sell you things others want to get rid of. If you want unwanted things, you're at the right tent. Hmm. Just iron. Not everything here looks like it's made of iron. What are you? A scholar of metal? I know metal better than anyone else. If I say it's iron, then it is iron. End of discussion. Look okay. at what I have to offer and tell me what attracts your curiosity. Now it looks that I look closer. Everything here is indeed made of metal. What do you think would be interesting for me? Have you seen these weighted blades? They are of high quality. And maybe you need some tools intended for javelins. Great craftsmanship there. But since you're Roman, you might be interested in this old helmet. It's a bit dented, but I'm sure you'll like it. Okay. A desperate treasure hunter sold it to me near Utica. It's ugly and battered indeed. Uh, I took it off his hands out of pity. Domine, look at these inscriptions. P. C. S. Huh? Publius Cornelius Scipio. By the limping leg of Hephaestus, this is the helmet of the famous general Scipio Africanus. An item of infinite value. It's a fancy hat, Cineros. Let's not raise our voices too much. Hmm. I might be to able to reuse the iron. I'll take this junk of your hands for 50 denarii. That sounds like a fair price to me. I hope you will find some use for this old thing. Do you want anything else from my stall? Uh, nope. Let's see. What is it? Holy! That's a nice helmet. All resistance is 8. If you end your turn with your attack action still remaining you will start your next turn with two attack actions wow okay that's quite useful plus i mean this one doubles the defense stats but it doesn't provide all that good defense stats by itself so armor two this doesn't have armor though hmm how much will it 15 i mean it's a little... like, this one would probably be a lot better on... Uh, where is she? On her, right? Because she already have pretty damn good stats. And this will just boost it a lot more. Yeah, look at her. She's like... 50% chance of dodging... Uh, of glancing every attack, more or less. Anybody else here needs a helmet? Yep. I think we'll go with that. Considering I'm mostly a damage dealer, this might be really good. Just double attacks if I end the turn with attacks on me. Like, it's pretty good. And I'm I, I'm basically acting from the back line all the time, right? So that's always useful. That was a good deal. Stop and taste the late salutations and a nice evening to you, travelers. You look like people of refined taste. Am I wrong? That is correct. The question is, can you cater to our refined tastes? Naturally. You have come to the right place. Our wines rival those of Carthage, and some, in fact, surpass them. Feel free to browse, and tell me if you find something interesting. 
Hmm. They only sell wines or ingredients too. I don't have a lot of interesting grapes for you. Uh, this year's vintage was rather fragile. Fortunately, that usually means we have some of the Ooh. best vinegar. Yeah, we might and buy like at I least one vinegar. Direct your attention to our excellent local honey in case you want to produce some of your Roman malsam. Hmm. How about uh, vinegar? You have a Ooh, sharp eye for quality products. Hmm. I, I, yeah, I'll have to get back to you. We only have like 700 gold, so. I this might is by far to... the largest council gathering I have ever attended. I'll need to come back to you. Who are you? Supply trader. I trade happily. The famous Roman everyone's been talking about. It is not too late in the day to buy the supplies you need. My store, though humbled by your standards, is at your service. Hmm. I didn't know you were famous. Uh, you have I a lot of things to sell. I am flattered. I know my store pales in comparison to the ones in Rome, but in Court of Heaven, you will find no better... P Tell me, okay. what do you desire? Mm. Well, that's such an open-ended question. I mean within the boundaries of what I can provide you with at this stall, of course. I can't grant you immortality... yet. <laughs> And I know what you're thinking, but trust me, you don't want to go there. My husband is a jealous man. Are you affiliated with any particular tribe? Of course. There is no way not to be. I do not hail from any tribe you would ever have heard of, however. My tribe is... Okay, let's see what she has. She... This is a band. Oh, nice. Okay, um, no. I, I want your money. I'll, I'll sell you medicine, right? Because... This, this is abundant here. Yeah, so okay. I know. Let's sell a hundred, shall we? Yeah, I think that's fine. Eighty-four medicine is okay. And, and at least we'll have some money to at least pay our, you know, Praetorians and stuff. So I'm okay with that. Will that be all? That is good. Uh, who are you? There is no way we can compensate for that. Ask him if Axio. he would accept 20 jugs There's of a shaman here. There's some, some stuff over there. Okay, doesn't look like there's much here. You, who, are you th who the hell are you? Doesn't look like a traitor. Romans, the spirits must have led you here to my little corner. How fortuitous. I need a little bit of your time and your guidance. Would you be willing to extend your helping hand? You need my guidance? I'm a foreigner in this land. That is precisely why I need you. The guidance I seek is for lands beyond this one. You are a warrior, are you not? If death is what you deal, it must stand to reason that you'd know death and the lands of the dead. My name is Axil. I am what you might call a philosopher in your language. Though to my own people, I am a shaman. My life's work is to study and explore the many lands beyond death and how they vary from culture to culture. Okay. Who would be interested in reading about what other cultures experience after death? Surely everyone wants to know what awaits themselves. I... Well, that is one of the questions I am trying to explore. Is it truly based on what we believe, or where we are born, or to whom? I myself am inherently fascinated by the idea of these different afterlives. But when I finish this book, I hope it will serve as a kind of travel guide. Well, I suppose none of us can ever be completely certain where death may take us. You understand me then. On the matter of transitioning from one life to the next, there can never truly be certainty. Besides, as scholars, we must seek the truth for no other reason than to enlighten ourselves. Sure, basically I'll help you. First, Why not? walk me through the typical journey of the deceased according to your culture. Imagine you are dead. What happens then? Um, hmm. I think this is the thing, right? Definitely go. They go to Tartarus, 
I'm pretty sure Tartarus is the Roman one. Oh, it's... Like, the, the problem is... Greek mythology, right, and Roman mythology is basically the same thing. It's just the names are different. Uh, so, I'm pretty sure most of it, all of it, is kind of right. But the virgins end up in Elysium while the worthless and the wicked suffer in Tartarus. This Elysium sounds like Seket Aru. Osiris permits only the pure spirits to the field of reeds. What happens to the impure spirits? Amit devours their hearts. Oh, yeah, I guess that's that's all of it is true. Your soul is separated from your body and travel to this are under On its own? Hmm. Interesting. We have to find our own way to the Duat. But they say the path is different for each person. You have to pay Charon so he can ferry you across the river. Aheron. A river? Now that sounds pleasant. But do you carry your own money to the underworld? Uh, uh, you you do not. For this reason, it's good to bury a dead with a with a coin in their mouth. Of course, we also believe it is best to bury the dead with their belongings. That way, they can live a good life in Siket Aru. If you uh, can get past Cerberus, the the judges will determine your fate. Assessors, we have forty-two of them. It is best to know their names and the sins they have not committed. Once you pass their judgment, Anubis weighs your heart against a feather of Mart. A pure heart isn't heavy. And, well, I can't really know for sure without traveling to this myself. You are right, of course. But I have an idea. Look, this weed is called Cat's Eye. They say it will bring you to the land of the dead temporarily. <laughs> it would be great if you'd try it and tell me what you saw there. Why don't you do it yourself? Naturally, I was the first to try it myself. But I'm certain you will visit a different underworld than I. What if I can't come back? You should not worry. I have tried it myself multiple times. And as you see, I always came back. Hmm. You're asking me to risk death. If it is only fair that I get something in return, and if I should find myself stuck in the lands beyond life, I should I should hate to be caught without enough coin to pay Sharon. You are right. I happen to have some Roman denarii on me. Please, take these with you. Okay, let's gonna get let's get high, huh? <laughs> Traveling to the underworld, huh? Interesting, interesting interpretation. Ooh, that's, uh... Explore your afterlife. There's a giant cat here. You should talk to the giant cat. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. This is really, really good. I love it. <laughs> There's a really huge giant cat here. Who are you? I am you. Uh, I'm a cat? You were, exactly one lifetime ago. But you are not a very good cat. Cats have to live through nine lives. We die and then we are reborn. But a wicked cat is reborn as a lowly human. <laughs> I am you in a past life. What are you? I am a cat. What kind of a cat are you? I am a giant cat. Oh, Again, true. something you can deduce based on observation alone. Am I dead? Do you remember dying? I don't. Most people remember such important events in their life. It is not you who is dead. Hmm. What am I supposed to do here? A very good question. Do you even remember your purpose? Uh... Glory? Probably as a Roman, glory is quite important, I would say. It would be my guess. Uh, but for now, I guess uh, revenge? Your father. 
His death seems so long ago. When was the last time you thought about him? Have you noticed that you no longer remember his face? Yet you intend to avenge his death. I wonder why. It will not bring him back. Did you even like your father? Uh, probably. It's like all the things before I said, yeah, that I actually kind of cared about him quite a bit. And your love and loyalty is still bound to someone who does not exist anymore. I may seem wise to you, but wisdom comes with age and identity. I know you because I am you. Or rather, I was you in a past life. I do not enjoy life as a human. But you can save me by leading a good life and not causing pain. Only then will we be reborn as a cat. <laughs> a giant cat? Unlikely. But stranger things have happened. <laughs> well, I have to do what I must. And when that's done, you will lie around all day and enjoy life. You can do that now. Cats do it every day. Well, some cats, right? The house cats. What do you propose? The only way you can stop hurting people is to leave the land of the living. You may stay here if you want and trade places with me. That way I will be reborn as a cat and you will be a good man. I know this is all very confusing for you, but let me make it simpler. I shall present you with two doors. One of them leads to the Elysium of Reeds, the other back to the Court of Heaven. Think about it. Figure out which one feels right and go where your heart leads you. May I say, like, this is like a, a trip and a half, right? <laughs> like, what sort of stuff is he, uh, is he giving? One door leads to Elysium, the other will take you back to the land of the living. Which one leads to where, though? I, I'm assuming this one leads back to the uh, land of the living, right? Return to the land of the living, yes. Uh, I love the fact that it was a giant freaking cat. <laughs> You're back. Quickly, tell me what you saw before the visions fade. Well, let me tell you about this giant cat. Giant cat. Ah, that's bizarre. Thank you, my dear friend. With your help, people all around the world will have a better afterlife experience. Please, accept this amulet as a small token of my immense gratitude. I hope to see you again when my book is finished. Okay. Well, let's see what sort of amulet it is. Critical damage, armor plus one, bludgeoning resistance six. Okay, I like it. Resistance is plugged to critical six. Uh, less critical than this one. Oh, this is critical damage, but not critical chance. Additional armor, though, sounds really good. Resistance is fire resistance. You know what? More armor on him will be actually really, really nice. Everybody? Oh, you don't have it. Uh, sure. A little bit more resistance and fire resistance probably is good for her. Okay. That was interesting. That was a really, really fun quest. <laughs> and unusual one at, uh, at that. At, uh, words are hard. And unusual one at that, right? Ooh, Berber bow. Okay. Only Berber bow one, though. Spikes, shield. Okay. Okay, shaman. The ancestors watch along came a warrior. But know this, not all foes fight fair. A blade may not fell you, but venom might. Do you need protection against that eventuality? Um Okay, can you protect me from venom? It takes a wise man to recognize wisdom. Thus, only by recognizing wisdom, we are wise. 
I have a cure against venom. You should be prepared. Do you agree? Hmm. Sure. That is a wise choice. Your life may not be measured with denarii. Okay, let's see uh, what this thing actually does. Antivenom that can be used to treat snake bites with the right treatment. Oh, it's a crafting material. So I, I guess I, I thought it would be a, an item. You know, but I guess we can buy make it uh, into the antivenom or something. Uh, who is? Where is the Velis? You know what? Let's give you like this Egyptian sword and this dagger instead. Oh, interesting. Because I probably want all the special, like, golden things to be kept with me all the time. And uh, not with uh, random people. Who I might not even want in the future. So. Oh, 710. How about this one? Yep. Okay. I think we're good. Doesn't look like there's anything here. So we might as well start moving. I, uh, we talked to everybody here, right? Yep. Might as well start moving towards the... Uh, what do we call them? Tribal leaders? They say yeah. it was the Romans! They attacked her caravan and killed the Pharaoh's guards. She will want vengeance on her brother. Mark my words. War is coming. Yep, it surely does. There was some stuff here, if I remember correctly. Uh, there is a stuff here. Yep. Let's see what we can see. How much money do I have? Is it in... Uh, oh, yeah, I could see it here. 2,500-ish. Good enough. Nice. Some linen. Nitre. Okay. Not bad. Some medicine. Considering we just sold some. That's pretty good. Oh, and there's some stuff here as well. Let's go take a look what we can see here. There is some sort of an altar. I think we'll, we'll take whatever there is later. Because it might trigger something. I'm not sure. Okay, what do we have here? Not much. Bludgeoning resistance to... Okay. Desert warrior grab... Meh. What else do we have here? Oh, right, this one. Okay. No, let's see what we can see here. Oh! Okay, some money and some food. Uh, I guess we'll take it. It's not like there's any other options to not take it. So we will. And let's go talk to the tribe leaders, shall we? The Roman finally joins us in the flesh. Your reputation precedes you. It's an honor to be here. Esteemed elders. Now that we are all here, our talks can begin in earnest. I have told you all of the upcoming war, of the possibility of Nozamenes being trapped between Roman legions and Egypt, and I have explained the potential advantages of an alliance with the Romans. Now is your time to ask your questions about our proposal. I'm sure many such questions burn your tongues. Uh... Why is nobody talking? Have you lost your voices? Are you all afraid of the great Roman? Cowards! That's what you are. You are a disgrace to Nazamones. It is only you who disgraces us in front of this foreigner, Wormaxan. Is it up to you to talk when your elders are silent? You confuse courage with insolence. Nobody is afraid of the Roman. But it is unwise to insult your elders. 
Nobody is afraid of the Romans. <laughs> I am. They've conquered Nasamones once. They rule Egypt and possibly myriad lands, the names of which I can't even begin to pronounce. One would be a fool not to fear the Romans. Run to your Roman masters with your tail between your legs then, Medul. I shall stand and fight, and if need be, die defending my people. Warraksan, Medur, know yourselves. The ancestors are watching. Do not disrespect the court. How many troops do you need, Roman? Hmm. 5,000 able body men, men at least? I, I guess so, right? We need to form a legion. <laughs> 5,000 slaves, in other words. Hmm. They will be granted Roman I I'm not sure, like, that will be actual case. Like, I'm pretty sure that, uh, the, uh, what do you call it? Auxiliary troops, they definitely weren't Roman citizen. I need 5,000 legionary who will be paid for their service to Rome. Plus, do they really want Roman citizenship? Typical of Roma. You think loyalty is just another thing you can buy? He is afraid. I fear nothing. The Roman is afraid. Am I wrong, Roman? There is no way you can advance towards Egypt without our help. You can wait for your masters to send you reinforcements. But by then it will be already too late. And what if we... Refuse helping you. It is not conquest you are seeking. You are trying to survive. Are you not? Uh, each of us has their, their own nemesis. He who doesn't fear is a fool. Indeed. Since you are not my nemesis, I should not fear you. Right? Hmm. You should not. Your misfortune doesn't benefit uh, doesn't benefit anyone. My intentions are pure. As you said, he who has no fear is a fool. And honestly, it is insulting of you to think of me foolish. Does this mean you're against helping the Roman Medor? I see no benefit in helping him. What do you say, Lunya? Do you have faith in him? I believe it is in our best interest to cooperate with him. The presence of this foreigner alone is an insult to the ancestors. I should slit your throat where you stand. Control yourself! He may have a temper, but he is right. You know that too. The court of heaven is for us only. I can already feel the disapproval of the ancestors. Can you now? Very well. Let us consult the ancestors, then. Have you lost your mind, Izil? Are we not disgraced enough? Will you allow this foreigner to desecrate the resting place of our ancestors with his presence? That is highly unusual. I don't think the ancestors would approve. That's something the ancestors can tell us themselves, is it not? Fine. But let it be known that I'm not happy. As usual. It is settled then. We consult the ancestors. Okay then. Where do I need to go? Oh, I need to go away. Okay. You know what? I think I will make a cut here. And we'll travel to the ancestors in the next episode. For now I'll make a cut and I'll probably level up off screen. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And goodbye.